How many hours of sleep did you get last night? Five, three, or maybe you did not sleep at all. After all, it's a weekend and it's only normal to spend weekend nights watching something or reading or just staying up chatting with friends. Basically doing anything but sleeping. Why waste time sleeping when you can do so much? Correct me if I'm wrong, but sleep is often seen as time wasted lost forever. There are proverbs that warn us about being left behind while sleeping in practically every language. There are idioms like coat napping or burning the midnight oil. So those who want to make something of themselves in life cut down on sleep statistics. An average adult sleeps for 6.8 hours a night. The national average in Japan is 5 hours and 59 minutes. Saudi Arabia 6 hours 8 minutes. Sweden 6 hours 10 minutes. And in India 6 hours and 20 minutes. Do you know these numbers can kill us? Science says an average adult needs to sleep at least 7.5 hours every night. In these 7.5 hours, a person completes 5 90-minute sleep cycles. During these cycles, your brain moves from deep known rapid eye movement sleep to rapid eye movement sleep. The first couple of cycles are dominated by known REM sleep. It cleanses and maintains our body, brain and heart. The next set of cycles are needed for processing and learning all the information that we have gathered throughout the day. So if you are having trouble recalling names, information or trivia, blame it on your sleep or lack of it. Seven and a half hours per night is the recommended amount of sleep America's Center for Disease Control is a little more practical. It says seven hours or more, this applies to all adults. Borrowing just three to five percent of the population, they can do with less than six hours of sleep. As for the recommended amount of sleep for other age groups, here is a chart. Now that we know how much we should sleep, the next question is, when should we sleep? Can we complete our sleep quota in the mornings, afternoons and in evenings too? Again, here's what science says. People are at their sleep as at two points in the day, between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. and between 2 a.m. and 4 a.m. The best time to go to sleep is between 8 p.m. and midnight, early to bed, early to rise. The Vedas say we should wake up around 3.30 a.m. It's called the time of the creator. But this is impossible in the world that we have created for ourselves. Most of us work shifts or late into the nights. And what happens if you sleep after midnight? This study says late bedtime is related to depressive symptoms. Some experts believe that if you sleep by 2 a.m. but complete your 7.5 hours of sleep, you are safe. Meaning there is no risk of cardiovascular diseases or diabetes. But there is a catch here. If you are sleeping late, you need to ensure that your sleep is undisturbed. That really doesn't happen, does it? With the morning comes, doorbells, work calls, the noise of traffic, school, college, milkmen, everything as a result, our sleep is hampered and we end up sleep deprived. Next question, what happens if you are not sleeping enough? There is a drop in health and productivity. Let's look at health first. Sleep deprivation is linked to physical health problems like cardiovascular diseases, hypertension, diabetes. Studies have found that lack of sleep is also linked to breast cancer in women and prostate cancer in men. And I'm not making this up. Researchers at Hong Kong University conducted a study. They found a discernible DNA damage in those whose sleep was disrupted. Even for one night. Experts say this may help explain the link between cancer and sleep deprivation. Let's look at mental health problems now. Lack of sleep is linked to anxiety and depression. South Korea and Japan rank the worst when it comes to good night sleeps. It so happened that South Korea and Japan also have the highest suicidal rate in the world. Japan has the phenomena called karoshi. Death caused by lack of sleep. Do you know we also put on weight if we don't sleep well? King's College London conducted a study in 2016. It found that sleep deprived people consumed an average of 385 kilocalories extra per day. That's an excess of four and a half slices of bread every day. A study was carried out by a researcher at the Pennsylvania State University. This is as recent as 2019. Researchers studied people in their 20s. Half of the volunteers caught regular sleep, the other half slept less than 5 hours each night. Now the sleep deprived lot ended up feeling less full than the others after eating a high fat meal. Leptin and ghrelin are two hormones that explain the link between sleep deprivation and obesity. Leptin tells the brain that you are full. Ghrelin urges you to eat more. Sleep deprived people have low levels of leptin and high levels of ghrelin. Sleep deprivation is also linked to the lack of productivity. If you don't get enough sleep, you are groggy at work. It's also hard to concentrate. You know the drill. We all have been there. As a result, people end up being less productive. The United States loses the equivalent of around 1.2 million working days per year because people are not getting enough sleep. In Japan, around 600,000 working days are lost. In the UK and Germany, the number becomes 200,000. This loss affects your country's GDP. These numbers are according to the Rand Corporation. 
And this is something that India should be looking at closely. You know why? Because in India, staying back late at work and sleeping less is regarded as professionalism. So here's the moral of the story so far. Sleep deprivation is helping no one, except the market brands are capitalizing on a lack of sleep on our habits. Till around 1880, people were sleeping an average of 10 hours a night. Thomas Edison then invented the light bulb 141 years later. We also have phones, laptops and tablets. Most of us are scrolling through them before going to bed. These devices emit blue light, which will boost the production of cortisol in our body and makes it difficult for us to sleep. Now brands are promising sleep. They come bottled in the form of lotions, candles. Sleep comes in paid apps that play sleep inducing sounds. Do you know falling asleep takes around 10 to 15 minutes, but if you manage to doze off within a few minutes, it means that you are sleep deprived. Sleep today has become a product, in fact a luxury product. The sleep tech devices market is worth over $10.9 billion. The market is expected to grow 16.6% by 2026. This market is being fueled by our sleeping patterns and our habits. 50 more women use sleep trackers regularly compared to men. More and more people start their day by checking their fitness bands and answering these questions. Did you sleep well? Have you been sleeping well? Have you been sleeping enough? Who are we giving excuses to? Our web series can be paused. Late night conversation can happen in the morning. Work, careers, dreams can take some rest. Because you know what? If we don't sleep, how will we dream?